today on Double Down Review. Don't make us horse laugh. Because we got the Heath Blake figures. And my god, lots and lots of accessories. Oh yeah. A lot of accessories. Packs with accessories. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's start with uh, John Ruth, the Hangman. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen the movie, The Hangman, that is uh, Kurt Russell's uh, character. Really, really awesome. Um, the accessories that they did were uh, chosen very wisely. I think that they did a good job uh, with the accessories. For those of you that haven't seen the movie, don't mind the the coffee pot and the coffee cup. <laughs> uh, I thought it was cool, though. They got, like, the coffee bags. It was um, actually, like, little sandbags. Yep. And then they got the the crate. He's got the barrel and his uh, his stew and spoon and all that stuff. Um, big fur jacket. He's got his big fur hat. Uh, he's got um, his revolver, his pocket watch, which you actually can take out of his vest and open up. It's pretty cool. Uh, then he's got his rifle. Um, and I can honestly say that this is probably the best head sculpt that Asmus has done so far. Yeah, both um, of these are really good. Yeah, look really, really awesome. Um, tons of interchangeable hands, tons of detail, um, and once again, just kind of showing how well they're starting to get everything. <laughs> it's uh, the tailoring on the clothing. You know, it doesn't have that bulky look to it anymore. Uh, the head sculpts, the paint application on the heads looks really, really good. Uh, the light, oh, really the light gray in the hair. Same mm -hmm. with uh, Samuel L. Jackson's character. He's got the, the black and gray hair. Um, yeah, and then just the little attention to detail. You know, the metal handcuffs that he has. Uh, he's got his, his six shooter. And their their holsters. Uh, putting these guys together is a little monotonous, just because you, you have to do their, <laughs> put the belts on them and oh, really? loop them in and all that stuff, but. Once you get them all set up, it's uh, it, it's worth it. I mean, they they look really really awesome. They're really cool figures, yeah. um, and just like I said, the the attention to detail that they're starting to put into the figures, along with their accessories. You know, the weathering on everything looks really good. The the actual metal coffee mug, um, their bases alone, I think, are cool. That they're just not the the traditional uh, six scale figure base. So it comes with these. And then, if you wanted to, just display them. It comes with these also, but I don't see why you wouldn't want. Yeah, I don't know why you, you know, wouldn't the, want. I think like the little haberdashery floor. Yep. And then they just announced the uh, the haberdashery diorama set for the six scale figures. Also, I think that's running about 150 bucks. So we'll probably have that. <laughs> <laughs> do a um, review on that. I'm gonna do a review on the the, the diorama with these guys in it. Um, you know, even the the in, inside of their jackets are actually like stitched in and layered. It's uh, it's pretty awesome to see the amount of detail and work that they're putting into these figures for uh, the amount of money that we're paying. You know. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of layers on this guy. He's got his shirt, a tie, a vest, his like suit coat, and then a scarf and his outer jacket, and which has like the shoulder cape on it as well. And it all just fits well. He doesn't look bulky or anything. I mean, with all those layers on. And yeah, that's kind of what I was going to show off also. I was going to take this big coat off and just show how well everything fits these characters. And while you're doing that, uh, this character is Marcus Warren. He comes with his pocket watch. That can also come out of his pocket here. He Is he just ripped it out? <laughs> yeah, oh uh, he comes with the the Lincoln letter from the movie that he carries with him, and his his character carries around. Uh, his pistols, he's got the two pistols, and then there's holsters on either side of his belt. Uh, and then he also came with the, I believe he he came with the barrel and the stew bowl and yep. spoon, and then his little hat just pops on his head. Just kind of show how well. The uh, costumes for these figures are tailored. I mean, you can it just everything fits well. Yeah, it looks the right size. Nothing is loose. Nothing is baggy. Um, the pants fit well. The vest fits the exact way that it should. 
Um, yeah, just good looking figures, high quality. Um, it's getting better with every single release. Every new figure outdoes the last one. <clears throat> I know that they're also working on more Lord of the Rings stuff. Um, they just announced the Daisy Dahmer goo from Hateful Eight. Also, she looks really good, and I think her price point is like one sixty, one seventy. How much for each of these? Um, I think Major Warren was one eighty nine. Okay. And I think the Hangman was one eighty nine. Also, that's not bad. Yeah. That comes for, a lot I mean, of stuff the and... amount of stuff you're looking at here, you yeah. know, you're kind of almost building a little diorama. As it is, plus their, you know, their extra clothing, coats, the... Oh, the hammer on the rifle goes back. I just found that out. <laughs> um, you can't go wrong with Kurt Russell. Yeah. Even if huge mustachio of Kurt Russell. It's the Kurt Russell that <laughs> I need in my life. Um, yeah, we can talk about articulation. Uh, there's no, no real restrictions here. Um, aside from... Uh, you know, the, the boots are um, the ankles. molded, so there's no ankle joint. Yeah, it's very limited ankle movement. But uh, that's all right, because you're, you're a bunch of cowboys. You didn't do no running, you did shooting. Um, they got uh, knees, hip, thigh. <laughs> Dancing a jig. Um, you got uh, wrist ball joint, you got elbow, you got shoulders, um, yep, you got a... Chest, torso, neck. neck articulation. This looks like the same. It's a full neck, not a neck cut. It says pops right up. <laughs> there it is. This is actually the Kurt Russell special. <laughs> this is how he gets everybody. He just does the crab walk away. <laughs> That's how he dodges bullets. <laughs> Even, I like how they did, you know, their gun belts are even different. Um, Kurt Russell's has his little tassels, little stars. Mm. He's got the double holsters. Um, both of them have bullets lining the insides of the belts. Um, yeah, just... Their pocket watches are actually ticking. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. It's a lot of things. Sweet figures from a cool movie. And even if you don't like the movie, they're just cool cowboy figures. Yeah. If you're a fan of westerns... Cowboys in general. Not any cowboy. Kurt Russell and Samuel L. Jackson cowboys. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> the boxes for both of them are like this picture of the character on the front, a little description on the back, and this is just a slip that comes off and they can see the figure through the window in there. And in the back you have a photo of the haberdashery. There it is. I believe each figure comes with a different backing, but Pretty cool. I, I really like the way that they're doing their packaging. I think it's very unique. Um, they just stand out. Yeah. Nice. That's clean. Nice and clean. Um, Let's do a measurement. Compare these two. Get his hat off. Make it even. A legit measurement. He's about 12 inches. And the hangman is about 12 inches? 12 and a quarter with his hair? Twelve and a quarter. Are these still available or sold out? Um, I think they're still available. Last last I checked, I, I believe uh, both of them are still available on uh, Big Bad Toy Store and through their website, um, AsmusToys.com. Well, there you go. If you're into the movie or into cowboys or westerns or Sam Jackson and Kurt Russell. It's plenty to like here. Price point's not too far off. Uh, figures are, I think, very reasonably priced for the amount of stuff that you get and yeah. how good they look. They're awesome for the price. Thanks for watching the review. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you want us to review something. Bye.